World Skills International is an international nonprofit organization. There are uh, between 50 and 60 countries members of World Skills. Uh, the USA is one of those. And you have to win at a regional and then at the national level for your own country. Then the country is allowed to send one individual to World Skills to compete in the World Skills, sort of like an Olympics, uh, once every two years. Back home, in preparation to this competition, you need to practice every joint with every process, and a lot of countries, I think, forget about that. So we, in preparation, spend all these hours in the lab, you know, practicing all the different combinations. I'm actually in this welding lab, like, average 90 hours a week. To spend that much time in a welding lab with, you know, the instructors always over your shoulders, it's putting more experience into you by getting that diverse knowledge and spending time under the hood. And I get involved in the regional and national competition and then uh, won them and have my ticket for the world skills. So uh, really happy uh, with that and all the experience that this uh, gives me. We weld every day, so five days a week, and uh, we do uh, 30 hours per week, so every day. And we have many training around uh, Quebec, so uh, it's a great experience. In world skills, they have to compete uh, in knowledge, uh, blueprint reading, but really it, the main thing comes down to their ability to weld. So they'll have certain preliminary welds they have to weld, uh, then they come to their final test, which is a, a vessel they build, uh, but it's got all types of angles and all types of uh, joints, uh, and they have to weld with four processes. They have to weld with the MIG, TIG, stick, and flux cord in position and it's time. So not only does the weld have to look nice, it you know, has to meet all the criteria for, for the international welding specifications and codes. Uh, it also has to hold pressure, so it's, it's pressure tested for 10 minutes at 1,000 PSI. Being a global industry sponsor, it's not about Lincoln Electric just preparing our U.S. competitor. Uh, so as a global industry sponsor, we want to make sure that everyone has the equal opportunity to win. And Link Electric is supplying all the welding machines and consumables to the World Skills uh, competition in London. Uh, so we wanted all the countries to have access to that. So the first thing we did is got the exact equipment that's being used, and we did a complete educational video on that. On top of that, we invited them to Cleveland if they wanted to come here and actually practice on the exact equipment. Uh, but also regionally, uh, a lot of the competitors got a hold of our Lincoln operations around the world, and they purchased the equipment locally or borrowed the equipment locally and trained on it. So we gave them the opportunity to around the world uh, to become familiar with the equipment before they went to London. Once you go over there, um, not only is the culture different, but the current, the power that they use is different than ours, so it changes everything. So that was something Lincoln was very good, you know, with providing us the machines that were going to be over there. Um, something that we could expose Brad to, to um, helping him along the way of getting more comfortable. That's definitely going to help out versus just going in there like, oh man, what does that thing do? Or what is this? You know, so now I just know and I just plug on and go. It's really not a, a, a selfish endeavor. You know, this really is to develop the youth uh, uh, of tomorrow. Uh, and that's it's not only in the U.S., but this is around the world, and I think that's important to do that. I don't see the end of the day that I will stop learning in the welding world, so that's really what I love about it. The rank is not important. I want to win. Everybody wants to win, but uh, I think he do his best, so it's okay for me. Participating in skills, I've basically, it's jump-started me, like putting me ahead of everybody else my age. You learn things a lot faster because of the competitions you want to succeed so you're like man I'm gonna do this I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do it you know you just keep going because you want to you know be successful uh, we don't call them winners we call them champions uh, it opens up a lot of opportunities for them for employment and uh, it really does uh, change their life